Hi everyone. So on this episode, <laughs> we are going to do a diptych. These are 8 by 16 canvases, which will give us a finished 16 by 16. Uh, four cups, and we're going to layer the cups with Persian Autumn Yellow, Lucas Chrome Green Light, Lucas Green Earth, Lucas Gold Bronze, Folk Art Peridot, and I think I might put some Deco Art Royal Ruby in there, and of course Black and White. Um, I keep looking at my paint wall thinking what other bottles are getting empty that I can use up. <laughs> I may be grabbing the Malachite and putting that in there as well, and I think I will. There's just a little bit left. So that empties up some bottles and gives me room to start shifting some paints around. Okay, so I am going to spray these cups with WD-40. This is the black can, which is more of the silicone, not the blue can. It looks like this. I have this in my Amazon shop. All my paints have silicone, so we should have tons of cells. And there'll probably be a lot of little ones from that itself. So let's start with white. My um, knuckle is like really sore because I'm always mixing paint for my paint business. So it hurts right here. And when I squeeze a bottle, it's just like excruciating. But I don't cry. I should, but I don't cry. <laughs> Let's start with the uh, Lucas Chrome Green Light. I'm going to try to use this up tonight. We really need a refresh on the bottles, that's for sure. And let's put the Malachite right next to that. Okay, and here's where I'll put some ruby red. It kind of goes really well with that malachite, so we'll see how it pours out. Yay. I wish I could set that in there and let it drain, but I can't. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's do um, let's do the Persian autumn yellow. I don't think we'll get muddy because the metallic won't muddy. But it's also our pop of color. And then we're going to go with the gold bronze. This is from Lucas. I love this color. I think I just saw a little piece fly in there. I'm telling you, I need to do bottles, guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was a big one. <laughs> bad, bad, bad. All right, some black. That's what happens when you don't use your colors for a while. That dries up in the spout. So always check those before you do a painting. I did not. All right, folk art peridot. I think we're going to have the same problem with that one too. So I'm just going to save myself the headache of trying to pluck it out. Okay. 
And then we'll do the uh, green earth. Did you see that goober? That was bad. <laughs> I feel like I'm surrounded by boogers. <laughs> I think I'm going to put a little bit of white on the top just so I have um, an edge to go by. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. I'm not shoving this down through, but I will give them just a tiny swirl. All right, I'm going to get these out of the way because I'm going to get paint all over them. All right, I just do an S, plain and simple. It just kind of moves some colors around just a little bit in the cup. And I can already see the goodness, and I see a little clump on top. Oh my gosh. There. I just, that way I don't have to fish in with my fingers and grab it. Okay, so we have a lot of area to cover. Um, if I need to add more paint, we'll add more paint, but I think we'll be okay. while I'm there. Oh, that's pretty. That chrome green looks really good with that uh, ruby red. Oh, did you see that? I hate them. I know what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> Cleaning bottles. Alright, I have a bunch of white here, so I'm going to go along this edge. I want to get that yellow in there. So we're going to be doing a lot of stretching. This canvas looks good. This one looks a little sparse, doesn't it? We'll see. All right, let me pop some bubbles. All right, let's do this one first. Because if I need more paint, I can pick it up off the pad. I don't really care if they go together um, in pattern. I just wanted two paintings that had the same colors. So it's better to do them both at the same time so that you have the same um, colors coming out of the cup at the same time. The same pattern. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. All right, so I had enough paint. So this one we know I have plenty. So I'm going to take this side off first because then I can get rid of that pile of green at the top. And some of these metallics, as they sit, they get very thin. Uh, they lose that thickness that you get when you mix fresh. So keep that in mind if you're storing paints. You may have to add a little scoop of paint to your bottle. I don't like that gold bronze in there. I knew I wasn't going to like that. <laughs> okay. So if I bring this down a little bit.
Ugh, I'm not liking this at all. It's going to get scraped. <laughs> but instead of that, let's just pour over it because I don't want to um, use up too much more paint. I really thought I would like that gold bronze in there, but I don't. I like the royal ruby. That came out nice. So, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So I decided, instead of scraping, that I would squeeze them together and see what happens. So let's pull them apart. Touch up those edges real quick. Because I can use these as backgrounds for something else. Not bad. Um... Mm. It's just the white. A little sparse on this side, though. Let's see if I can tilt that down. But what I can do... this. So I know I have enough paint on each side now. And now I'll pull them apart. No, no, I'm just making mud. <laughs> All right. Let's let me think about it for a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to leave them because when I turned them this way, I actually like them for backgrounds. So I could either do fish on here, which would be so cool, or I could do um, florals, or even a tree background, you know, little trees and have that as the foliage in the background. So I'm gonna leave these and then um, when I do do the video, um, I'll make an announcement so you guys will be able to see that finished. But um, yeah, I'm gonna leave them. I liked them after I squished them and got that black in there and it just kind of popped a little bit more for me when I turned them this way. The runoff is gorgeous. I'm gonna see if I can pick up some tiles out of that. And uh, I'm going to leave them as they are. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click on that bell. Um, also, click like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think I should paint on here. Because I can see fish. <laughs> Swimming through the back, you know, like algae in the background. Um, there's a lot I could do with these, so I think it would be pretty cool. Um... Also, join our group on Facebook, The Parash Posse with Christina Welch. And also check out my art page, Christina Welch Art. Shop with me on Amazon for your paint pouring supplies. And um, also check out all the other links for Etsy and Redbubble and Teespring and all that fun stuff. But thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.